All right, man. Uh, pretty simple. Another good question. How do I mount my degree wheel? Number one, you got to have it at True TDC. And somewhere I got a video using a positive stop, making sure when it hits the positive stop or screwdriver in the port, I, I, I tend to use a positive stop on the deck because my port shape's different and tight. Uh, it, the one's faster than the other, and, and it's all because you got to rotate it. But anyways, there's a video on how to set your degree wheel up, and the question was, how do I mount it? Uh, the bigger the wheel, the more accurate. This one was originally a four-stroke one, but you, as you can see, so it's less confusing after BDC, I start and I mark them. It would be just the same as what this is. It's just easier to watch after. Uh, this Motion Pro had to open up the inside of it. Sometimes you might need to apply a washer. It's critical that I set up a motor for degree in only. So when I set my motor, I always check to see if it's true TDC. This isn't race, race cars. But like I said, you want you want your wheel to be super tight and you want it to stop at the same place going different directions, which it does. Now, an easy way we use on the pro stock bikes is a flexible, flexible arm so you can bend it so you're not trying to loosen this and tighten it because like I said, it's TDC. There's what's called dwell time, and your eye can't see the piston move. And if you use a down indicator, it, it's not as accurate as using a positive stop. Now that that's been said, I remove my primary stator. I put it on this side. Sometimes you have to apply a washer behind. Once I know my wheel is zeroed, tighten that up. It never moves, and this is my 40 millimeter degree wheel motor. And you could probably put it on this side with an Allen, but then you'd have to remove your pins so it clears. And when I had a smaller wheel that I didn't have to come out, I usually make a super strong pointer because I'm not bending this one or adjusting this one. This one you got to be careful that you don't bump it, so you constantly check it. It, it. It's very basic stuff, super simple stuff, and I apply it with the crank nut. Hope this helps. I know it didn't hurt. Find my video on how to make ensure that your degree wheel is at true TDC. Live long and prosper.